how good is it to be uh, back in Singapore and, and how are you feeling? Um, no, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm cool, calm, collected. Uh, coming to Singapore, it just feels like home back in Australia. Everything's clean. Um, food is right, water is even better. Um, it feels like home and this is special as well because this is where I made my debut. So, Extra special. Yeah, and uh, is it funny for you going to defend your belt against a guy who you've already beaten before? Does that does that add to the calmness? Um, not necessarily. I, I'm sure that, that victory, I mean, we've both moved on from it um, and we've both evolved into two different fighters now. So um, it's just like another opponent. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Christian now as a new opponent, new evolved, new form. Um, and it's just going to be uh, another fight, another day in the office. It's interesting that you say you both moved on from it, but I'm not sure it might be easier for you to move on than, than him because you won. Of course, of course. Um, look, I, I still feel a bit of the burden as well um, from the interviews that I've seen and the words that have come out of his mouth, um, some of the excuses from after that night. But um, look, it's... It's something that we, we have to accept and move forward, you know. If we're going to dwell on the past, then you know, we'll be stuck in the past. So um, it's all about evolving and moving forward in life. Um, there's no going back from that. So I had a very interesting interview with Chatri a few days ago. He said he loves both of you and he almost doesn't want to watch it because he can't <laughs> pick a winner. But one thing that interested me a lot was he said, uh, it's no secret that Christian doesn't have the best chin in the world now. I wasn't aware of that. Um, I've only seen him be knocked down by you, I think. So uh, what do you make of that? Um, look, I couldn't agree more with him, but um, it's, it's something that we've been working on. Um, I'm sure he, he's reformed his whole take of um, tucking it in a bit more. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a different fighter now. So he's, he's only young, he's only growing. Um, he's becoming a, a stronger man. Um, to what he was when we first fought, you know, he was only 17 or 18 years old, whatever he was. Um, I couldn't imagine what I was like at uh, 17 or 18, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure he'll come. I didn't fight on a different fighter, but um, in terms of his chin, um, we're well very, very of that. So, you think that's the weakness? I don't think that's the weakness. Um, I think um, getting him to panic and then lose his stamina. His stamina is the main thing that we want to we wanna expose, but um, his chin's always there. So I don't think that's his weakness. What a year it's been for you, man. You, you almost got three belts. It was a pretty tight decision against Bibiano. Um, he reckons that the promotion wanted you to win that. Uh, you could say that it would be nice to have more history created, three belts. What do, what do you think about that? Is that Bibiano said that? Yeah, or? yeah um, look, I kind of I kind of seen where he was coming from when he said that because there was a lot more promotion coming from my side um, and promoting the fight in general it was more coming a lot from my side there was a lot of interviews and you know, video recordings and a lot of a lot of work coming from my side than his so the way they marketed the the whole fight I I kind of got the feeling that they probably wanted me to win in which I had the confidence I knew that I was going to win so. Um, it was it was it was very hard at the, when when he speaks about that. Look, I kind of get where he's coming from, but being on the other side of the world and performing in Asia, it's I don't know, I, I think it's kind of hard for him to do a bit of promotion as well. Um, but yeah, it's in it's in the past now. So he, he came out victorious, and you know we we live another day. Another different weight class, and now you're fighting featherweight. Where do you see your future? Where are you at your strongest? Um, Going off my last fight, um, knowing that I can make the weight with ease and how I felt against a 15-year veteran, five-time BJJ world champion um, who has been dominating for the last 10 years, um, how I went against him, um, I see myself finishing my career in the bantamweight division and I see myself winning that bantamweight title. Interesting. And, uh, <laughs> do you reckon you've got the love you deserve for winning two belts for what you've already achieved this year, not just in Asia but around the world? Look, I don't, I don't do this for fame. Um, it, a lot of people have shown a lot of love. Um, I get a lot of support. I'm now defending. Um, I will be defending both titles. I'm defending my first title now. Um, unlike some who's won the title and hasn't defended, you know. So um, I will be defending both titles. I will be defending um, my whole, my legacy. Is how I see it. And it's my destiny so um, it's every MMA fighter's dream to win a world title let alone two I've done both of them um, and now it's all about defending my t legacy uh, were you alluding to like a certain Irish fighter there um, 
You said it, not me. <laughs> well, it's interesting because uh, look, this promotion prides itself on on being very much about Asian values and about being humble and integrity, and they don't. They've been very vocal about not wanting to to be as brash and and about trash talking. Now, are you proud that they're going that way? Or? Oh, one hundred percent. It's the true values of martial arts. You know, we don't need. Look, if if people want to tune in and watch a, an event, they'll do it regardless of trash talking or whatever. I think just the trash talking it sells it a bit more. But how one championship has approached this whole um, martial arts thing and um, exemplifying the the true values of martial arts. It's 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 the true honor honorable way of doing it. You know, um, we don't do this to be thugs. You know, we don't do this to. Um, like, basically bully our opponents before the before the fight you know um, it's all about training and becoming real martial artists learning the discipline um, of each uh, martial arts and you know showing it you know as warriors so I think you speak a lot of sense and a lot of wisdom there but I think the difficulty is it's still a violent sport right oh uh, look don't, don't get me wrong there's always going to be those one percenters that's never going to accept it but um, it's, it's until they experience your journey um, and know what you go through and know what you're doing it for. Um, you know, everyone's got different stories um, and you know, it's learning, learning everyone's story. It's like, um, it's like meeting a new friend and then learning everything about them and you know them like you've known them for 10 years even though you've met for a week. It's just, it's just that same feeling, you know? Um, so once someone comes and learns your journey and knows why you're doing it and you know, the purpose of the journey itself, um, then I think they would see um, another side of martial arts in general. But um, in terms of flicking on the TV and seeing it just straight off the telly, of course everyone's going to have an opin opinion saying it's rational or you know, violent. You know. This could be the most historic night in one championship history. It, it looks like it's set up to be that. Uh, how proud are you of being part of that? Um, look, it's, a, it's an honour. You know, we, We've launched the One Super app. Um, it, it's the official launch was at the press conference a couple of days ago and you know to be part of a big card um to be on a card with Shinya Yoki alone that's that's massive you know um Angela Lee she's she's the face of the company um there's huge names on this card uh from the super series as well um so it's it's an honor on my side to be a part of it and uh, it's an interesting one isn't it you say Angela being the face of the company maybe the two biggest achievements in history is probably Angela Lee and yourself in terms of what you guys have done recently. But you're the guy who's, who's trying to stop a bit of history now because they're trying to be the sibling champion. Of course. Um, I'm here to break dreams. Unfortunately, this is, as I said, this is defending my legacy. Um, yeah, Christian, credit where credit's due. He's come a long way and he, he, he deserves, um, as some people will think, the title shot. Um, but, you know... It, it, he's trying to take it away um, from someone who who's dedicated his whole life into this sport. You know, it's not going to come that easy. If he thinks this is a walk in the park, then I think he's wrong. If he's already doubting me, then he's already lost. So um, come fight night, we'll see who um, who the true warrior is. <laughs> it was a pretty emphatic finish when you put him to sleep last time. Uh, you know, if he were to get a win this time, do you think you guys could meet again? He's very young in his career. You've still got a way to go. Do you think Look, this I, could be? A I big said, I've said it in our um, in our Laos encounter. I mean, the guy the guy at the time was a young kid. He's going to come back. Um, I know talent when I see talent, and what I see in Christian Lee, he's he's, he's fair enough. Credit was credit's true. He's a talented fighter, um, but as long as I'm around, I don't think he'll be holding the title soon. So. Respect, look forward to 